Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another UFC Undisputed Forever video, and today we're doing another random creative fighter title mode. Um, I did one of these a couple days back, and people seemed to really enjoy it. I had some people asking me to make a series out of it, so I figured, since I had a lot of fun doing it, why the hell not? Um, last time we did this, we randomized all the stats from 1 to 100. This time we're going to be doing 1 to 255, so we have a big chance to be getting a, a monster here. And, uh, yeah, before we start, I do want to go into the randomization options and go from realistic to extreme. So if you're following along, make sure you do that first. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go to basic information. You can randomize basic information as a whole, so we'll randomize all the general info and your weight class. But I like doing it one by one to really see each change in action. So we're going to start with general info. We're going to go with our first name first. Jason Ostrovsky. Interesting. What is his nickname going to be? Ironhead, Jason Ironhead Ostrovsky. I might be mispronouncing that. I've never seen that name in my goddamn life. He's going to be 32 years old. His hometown is La Jolla, California. I've never heard of that either. And he's going to be fighting out of Bakersfield. So he's a Cali boy. That's that's definitely clear. What is his weight class going to be? He's going to be a featherweight. Interesting. We did one of these on stream either was was it yesterday or the day before, and we got a featherweight. And holy shit, it is lightning thunder. It is storming out right now. Holy f So he's a featherweight. His name is Jason Ironhead Ostrovsky, fighting out of uh, Bakersfield. Interesting. What is his performance going to be? His touch gloves. We usually get aggressive for this, I feel. Um, but we get light bounce this time. Fighter call is going to be number 89. Looks pretty normal. Um, his victory scene is going to be 83. Is that Chuck Liddell's? I think that's Chuck Liddell's celebration, but I'm not sure. It looks kind of like Chuck Liddell, the way he uh, might be Rampage, too. I'm not sure. Rise and Victory, number 39. Pretty normal. Almost like Rob Van Dam, <laughs> RVD, uh, from WWE right there. Hold on. Now we're going to do our Ramp Walk, non-title, number three. It's like a Nate Diaz type thing, Nate, uh, Nate Diaz type Ramp Walk. That's definitely Rampage, Jackson. Um, UFC Trainer, number three. He's just whispering some secrets in our ear, I guess. I don't really know. The octagon walk is going to be number four. Pretty normal. Background lighting is going to be number five, which is greenish, blue, like teal. I, I can't even tell. These don't really matter too much. If you want to skip this, I'll probably put like a timestamp to skip ahead. Our music is going to be Jarzinho Rosenstrike, but we have the music muted for copyright, so it's not a, a big deal anyway. Um... Entrance number four, more shadow boxing, pretty cool. Stair descent is going to be number one, very slow. Ramp walk is going to be number nine. I think, yep, more shadow boxing. He really likes to shadow box his way to the octagon, I guess. And then number 25, he's hyped in Ryzen when he becomes champ, I guess. Look at that, <laughs> look at that confident ring, uh, ring walk, Jesus Christ. All right, ring entrance is going to be number 10. Okay, background lighting doesn't really matter. Manel Cop. All right. Um, music, again, doesn't really matter. We have it muted. And that takes care of all of that. Now, for fighter abilities, we're going to go to style, navigation style. Flicker. I actually really like that one. That one's pretty good. We're going to be an orthodox stance, so we can't switch stances. That kind of sucks. And we're a lefty, so our left hook is on some Alex Mahara shit, I guess. Um, up button does acknowledgement. Down button does walk it off. And left button does angry stare. So that's our taunts. And now here's where I need to take out the randomizer wheel thing I have. Because when you randomize a stat, since they broke the uh, stat cap from 1 to 100 to like 255. When you randomize it, it just randomizes everything to 255. UFC Vet did say he's going to be working on a fix for that in the next few updates. But for now, we have a, a randomizer here. So it doesn't matter too much. We're going to start off with attributes and see what his strength is going to be. His strength is going to be a 143. Holy shit. What a far jump from Nathan Papadakis over here. Uh, that was the last random fighter we did. Actually, the last random fighter we did was on stream, but the last one we did on video was Nathan Papadakis. So that is crazy. He literally has 100 more strength than Nathan Papadakis. Uh, we're going to be randomizing his speed now. He has an 83, which is not that bad at all. An 83 is pretty normal. His cardio is going to be 187. This is what I. This is why I did 1 to 100 last time, because I feel like this is just going to be way too overpowered, and we're just going to absolutely destroy all the competition. So I might 
for the rest of these go back to 1 to 100. But for now, we'll do 1 to uh, 255. His footwork is going to be a 93. This guy, so far, is looking like an absolute monster uh, from his physical stats. But now we're going over to his skill stats. Let's see what his standing strikes are going to be. His standing strikes are going to be a 60. That is not very good, but it's also... Considering our strength is really high and everything else is pretty damn high, I don't think we should have too much of a problem. Um, our defense is going to be a 178. Holy sh**. Okay, 178. He can't dish it out very good, but he can sure take it. Um, standing kick offense is going to be an 18. He really can't get kicks up there that great. I guess he's not exactly a kickboxer. He's definitely more of a... Um, I don't even know what the f this archetype would even be called. Uh, standing kick defense, however, is going to be 179. Okay. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is an interesting one so far. He has really good defense, not such good offense so far. Clinch striking offense is going to be a 233. So there's his offense right there. He's mostly a dirty boxer, I guess. Um, 233. That's 133. Holy sh**. 233. We're going to try to catch people with some dirty boxing with this guy. His defense is a 73, so that's pretty interesting. Very good dirty boxing, but he can't really defend himself that well in the clinch. Is clinch striking off, or wait, ground striking. I don't know why I always get that confused. His ground striking uh, offense will be a 60. I don't know why I just had a complete, like, brain fart right there. Ground striking is going to be a 60. What is his ground striking defense? 151. He's very much a defensive guy. He's not so much the type of dude to just walk out there and try to take your head off, but man, oh man, can he skirt around that octagon. He actually doesn't even have that great of footwork either, which is pretty funny. Um, clinch grapple offense is going to be a 10. That is pretty unfortunate. He has really good dirty boxing, but getting to that clinch is tough. Um, clinch grapple defense, that's 130. Oh my god, what the fuck is this guy? This has got to be one of the weirdest, um, this has got to be one of the weirdest randomizations I've done so far. I only've done, I've only done two. I've done one on my own, but this is definitely the weirdest one. Takedown offense is going to be 32. That's not very, uh, not very great. Takedown defense, however, is going to be 253. So you're not taking this guy down, and, uh, he might not be able to take you down either, though. <laughs> So we got 253. I think it goes up to 255. So yeah, he almost has max takedown defense. So you're definitely not double legging this bastard. Ground, uh, ground grapple top offense is going to be a 13. So he can, <laughs> he definitely doesn't want to be on the ground too much. Uh, ground grap, a uh, ground grapple top defense is going to be a 27. So his top control is pretty dog. Sh uh, his bottom game is going to be a 207. That is a... <laughs> this dude has a guard on him. <laughs> this dude has a guard. He may not be able to get top position in a good way, but his guard is a very, very dangerous guard, and his bottom grapple defense is going to be 230. We're just going to be... Oh, my God. This is going to be the weirdest title mode I've ever had to go through. Submission offense is going to be... 172. So, man, oh, man, you don't want to get caught in a triangle against this guy. He will absolutely submit you, and his defense is going to be 225. You really can't get much better with randomization than that. He's a 141 overall. His technique is going to be karate. Very good. Karate is one of my favorite um, archetypes right there. And that's all for technique and stuff like that. Physical appearance is going to be... Um, it's pretty short... Not that in shape. He's 5'4", and he is uh, not that ripped for a 5'4". He's pretty, he's a short fat guy, it looks like. He has that Danny DeVito build. Um, his face looks oddly familiar, and I can't quite put my finger on who he looks like. He looks like someone, though. He kind of looks like, uh, who's that guy from the WFA in this game? Like Chris Whitaker or something? He almost looks like he has that face. Um, hairstyle. Let's see his hair. Interesting. That's a nice looking. That's a nice looking man right there. Looks like Oro Oro's son or something. Okay, tattoo and scar. I don't think you can randomize any of that. His gear is going to be. Uh, looks pretty normal. 
Nothing too crazy. He has the green and the purple. Oh my god, that's actually a sick sweatshirt. What the f***? That's really cool. <laughs> that is a really cool randomization. I like that a lot. What is his hat? Nice, nice, nice. He's got that. He's got that. Okay, he's got the Iceman uh, mouthpiece. That's actually what we got on stream, too. And he has ground and pound throw, which isn't very good because ground and pound is pretty atrocious. So don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> um, I guess this is our fighter here. Whatever you want to call this abomination. I will see you guys in one second when we are here with the title mode. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. All right, here we are with the man himself, Jason Ostrovsky. Um, he has a graphical glitch going on on his left arm right now, but that should be fixed when we get in the game. If it's not, then it's not too big of a deal. He looks like an abomination anyway. Let's look at the stats real quick before we jump right in. As you can see, he's not that great offensively besides uh, bottom grapple and submission. But when you go over to his defensive stats, he is an absolute defensive wizard, it seems, which is kind of crazy. <clears throat> His physical stats are pretty impressive as well with a 143 strength and a 187 cardio. And he actually has a 93 footwork. I thought I said uh, earlier that his footwork wasn't that good. I guess I was sorely mistaken. I, I must have been thinking of the other uh, fighter we made, Nathan Papadakis. I'm pretty sure he had like a 24 or 25, which is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> but hopefully uh, this one goes a lot better than that one. That one did not go well for us at all. I think we only got like three fights in or some shit, and then uh we got absolutely worked <clears throat> we're gonna be starting off by fighting yair rodriguez i feel like this will be a good matchup we have really good ground game so i'm gonna try to get him down and work some submissions but i do want to test our stand up first a little bit see where we uh see where we stack up against him because yair is really good on the feet <clears throat> leonard garcia oh. Here we go. He's got some spinning kicks, but he does have the karate move set. I remember he has uh, really good strength, but not such good strikes, especially not the kicks. So, karate move set isn't going to come in handy too, too much. I do want to try to at least drop him, though. Get an impressive uh, one drop in there. We don't have to stand up too, too much, but as long as we get a few, uh, I want to show off his whole move set. We didn't make this create a fighter just to uh, grapple f people. Although it would be pretty funny, either way. As you can see, yeah, his player model's fixed now. I was worried that it might not be, but thank God it is. <clears throat> Our takedowns aren't the best, but once we get him down, we should be able to dominate. And if he sweeps us, I'm not worried at all. <laughs> Our submissions in our bottom game is absolutely f crazy. <laughs> Ooh, spinning back kick. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to drop him from that. I guess not. He's got the clinch. He looked hurt, nope. But he, recovered quick. he was too careful with that. Getting the tie clinch. Again, nice trip. Try to take him down again. Right down. We're going to go for a knee bar. We're definitely going to get the submission. No one can get out of any of our submissions. And our submission defense is even better, so. <clears throat> it's a wrap. We're taking over the UFC. Um, if we get through this pretty quick, I will have him fight uh, the random fighter we made on stream uh, yesterday, the day before that. So, hopefully we get through this pretty quick. I'm going to try to absolutely steamroll people. I think that'll be a good matchup. Maybe we'll just do CPU versus CPU and see who uh, really wins. I would do Nathan Papadakis, but he is a heavyweight. <clears throat> first fight is a submission we only got hit six times so we definitely don't have any brain damage yet i mean he might have brain damage by default with the way uh he looks he's been huffing some glue or something all right next fight arnold allen i don't think he's gonna mean much it should be pretty easy i mean if you look at our stats i really don't think anyone's gonna be a problem Unless you put him up against, like, Aura Aura or something. <laughs> you never know. Maybe that, that'll that be a good matchup. <clears throat> if I could somehow get some sort of a submission, it's a wrap. <clears throat> All right. Let me try to go out here and right off the bat get him down. There we go. And that is a submission waiting to happen. Yep. Knee bar. I guess we found our um, trademark submission. <clears throat> We're catching everybody in knee bars. Damn, son. He thought, he really thought, he thought he was going to get out of that one. 
This is really the reason why I, I did the uh, 1 to 100 fighter last time is because I didn't want to just steamroll people like this. I feel like the 1 to 100 is a lot better. But let me know for future episodes of this if you want to see me go 1 to 100 or 1 to 255 like we did this time. <clears throat> I'm fine with either way. This is a lot easier for me. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to see that, I'm fine with it. Uh, okay, 2-0. and oh. We got Arnold Allen and Yaya Rodriguez out of the way. It looks like we have some tough fights ahead of us, though. Who is champion right now? Alexander Volkanovsky. Understandable. Hopefully, we can get there quicker, um, sooner than later. I want to try to get some impressive wins so they fast-track us. We begin our night Jose Aldo is the next fight. This one should be interesting. I don't think he's in a... I, I, again, I don't think he's going to be a big problem. He's one of the better fighters in the division, though. So, got to be careful. <clears throat> we have some glitches. Pardon my technical difficulties. Don't worry about that too much. It should clear up. Hopefully. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> this man is a karate fighter. He stands five feet four me. inches tall. In my phlegm is killing me. Allergies pounds. kick my ass like every time of the year. Why is it blue and sh I'm just going to skip this so we don't have a seizure. My apologies. Alright. Jose Aldo in the red corner. We are going to try to get him down early just like we did everyone else. We're really fast as well. Our takedown defense is ridiculous. Guillotine. It's a wrap. Yep, that's over. Yep. Damn, son. Um, what is this guy's name again? I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we randomized him not too long ago, and I already forgot what his name is. He's not Nathan Papadakis, that's for sure. Jason Ostrovsky. This guy is an absolute uh, legend. A beast, if you will. He only landed one strike on us. That's that's tough. That's really tough. Um, who's next? Max Holly, Calvin Cater, Josh Emmett. It might be Josh Emmett or Mobzar. That's not Mobzar, it's Diego Nunez, but still. You know what I mean? <clears throat> All right. Oh, I need to get more water. Maybe uh, after we win the title, I'll grab some more water. All right, Max Holloway is next. He has really good cardio, but not ungodly cardio like Jason Ostrovsky. He is going to meet a fast and unfortunate end. Is Holloway. <clears throat> he does have an 8-inch reach advantage on me, though, and a 6-inch height advantage, so... You never know, maybe that'll help him out. He's gonna need it. <clears throat> He's Levine is the referee. I'm going out there, and I'm just rushing him right off the bat. Here we go. He's letting us hit him pretty early on. Keep your dukes up, kid. There we go. Okay, not a smart idea from him. And we got a triangle. It's over. <laughs> this guy is a submission expert, apparently. He does have like 224 or some sh** in submission, so it's not too much of a surprise, but this is just unfair at this point. <clears throat> this is just straight up unfair. Someone said they don't really mind me uh, sh smashing people just going through the divisions like that, so... I guess it's for you. <laughs> On to the next one. Let's see who we got. <clears throat> Alright, we might get fast-tracked. Yep, yeah, we're gonna fight Sadiq Yusuf, and then we're probably getting the title shot. As long as we don't lose somehow. <clears throat> that would be absolutely insane if we get this far and lose by, like, a knockout or something crazy. We just have such good stats, I really don't see us able- Wow, that's in Barboza. Is this a title eliminator? I wonder. I guess we'll find out. Alright. Skip past all this nonsense. Josh Grisby. 
God damn, Barbosa's looking shredded. Joe, how do you see this matchup going for Iron Nice little leg kick. We've seen him win his last four straight in the octagon. Can he extend the streak tonight? I definitely Yeah, someone said they only had Aldo at Bantamweight or something. I just saw him at Featherweight, so I don't know. I don't know if I misunderstood what they were saying or what. I know we have bad top grapple, so he's probably going to uh reverse us at some point. Or not. Did we have good uh, ground and pound or not? I can't remember. I think it might be like normal, like an 83 or something. Oh, he made a mistake. He made a big mistake coming to the ground with me. Even though we haven't caught him in anything yet, the first thing we catch him in is going to be a wrap. And it's going to be a knee bar, our trademark. <laughs> he had some nice scrambles in there, though. I got to give it to him. There we go. It's over. Sorry, Barboza. I had to do it to him. There was no getting out of that one. <clears throat> he is an absolute menace, this guy. We're definitely going to have enough time to throw in an extra fight, so we'll do uh, against our stream fighter. If you remember, uh, if you if you were there for the stream, you'll know him. If not, it'll hit... Uh, God damn it, Reese. Get your shit together. If not, it'll be new to you. So, should be cool. Loving that sweatshirt from uh, Ostrovsky. Sorry, I'm exhausted right now, too. It is uh, 9.20 p.m., and I had a long day today, so... It is pretty... It's a bit... I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Earlier, I did... I made this fighter, and then I had to go do a bunch of stuff. That's why it looks... It might look a little bit darker than it was earlier. Not too long ago. It's only been a couple hours. It was so hot in my room earlier, too. That's another reason why I couldn't record the rest of the video earlier. <laughs> I was dying. It was like 88 degrees in my room because my AC just isn't good enough to uh, cool my room since I live upstairs. The heat's always beating down on the roof and cooking me in here. Let's get the fight pose real quick. Let me see if I can get a good screenshot here. Nope. Wouldn't let me screenshot it. I guess not. Okay. <laughs> Silly me. For thinking I can get a nice screenshot. I must be tabbed out or something. Alright. Last but not least, we got Volkanovski. Again. Should be a pretty quick one. As long as he doesn't, like, somehow flash KO us emphatically, like, in five seconds. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is All right. and now again I'm just gonna try to rush him. I'm, I'm gonna throw more uppercuts though. I feel like we have been neglecting the uppercut of Ostrovsky. We haven't really tested it out yet. He ducks right under our hook. Again, Volkanovsky does, using nice head movement. Beautiful straight punch from Ostrovsky. Still sucks he can't switch stances. It is bothering me a little bit. Not too much of a big deal though. Oh, I forgot. His dirty boxing. How have I not used this? <laughs> His dirty boxing is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> How have I not used the the dirty boxing at all? His clinch striking is at like 226 or some shit. Yeah, look at how much damage those do. Those little tiny strikes. It's like nothing. Bam. He's hurt. He's hurt. The knee is definitely going to be our weapon of choice. I can't believe I forgot about this. This is like his number one weapon in all the stats. <clears throat> As you can see, things changed once we started using them. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that might be the end for Volk. Nope. He wants to try to get out. I'm going to make him pay for it. I'll let him out. I want to knock him out. We haven't got a knockout yet. I want to knock out on Volk. Bink. Get back up. Alright. Nice over-the-top punch by Volkanovski. I thought for sure that was going to be the end. He drops us, but it won't be for long. With the way our cardio is looking. Okay. Our kicks do nothing. It's so funny. <clears throat> Ooh, the axe kick. I want to land that. 
That's what I want to finish this with. I'm just gonna spam the axe kick now. I found a new toy. I know Crow Cop has a really nice axe kick as well. I want to do a Crow Cop title mode soon. Probably be next. <clears throat> I was gonna do Crow Cop last time, but I ended up landing on Volk just because I can't believe I haven't done him already. He caught the, kick, he caught the axe kick, which is kind of impressive. The only reason Volk is going to make it to the second round is because I let him. But that's my fault. I shouldn't have let him off the hook. Or actually... Never mind! <laughs> I guess not. He had to lose the fight in round one. He just couldn't make it to the second round. I was like, if he's going for this, I'm getting it immediately. There's no fight way but I didn't think he was gonna be that dumb I think that's the one without the sleeve too so that has all the meat behind it <laughs> um yeah I guess well I guess we'll put them up against each other see how they do god damn all right let's see the stats real quick I want to see what he was uh doing to us he only landed 19 strikes to our, our, excuse me, 30. Uh, we knocked him down once. He knocked us down once, though, which is kind of nutty. That was the first time we were knocked down. And we are champion of uh, Featherweight. I do want to do one last fight against our uh, stream uh, calf the other day. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time speaking today. Sorry, I'm tired. Yeah, against our stream random creative fighter i will see you guys in one second when we're here with that fight and we will do it in ryzen just to make it extra special i guess uh so uh yeah see you then all right we we're here with the last fight of the evening i just wanted to show you guys the stats real quick before we jump in the fight as you can see they stack up pretty evenly actually jason ostrovsky and lorenz larson you can see the striking definitely goes to Lorenz. Um, the defense overall probably goes to Ostrovsky. I think this is going to be a very interesting fight uh, overall. I put it on ultimate difficulty, so we might see a lot of reversals. We might not. I guess we'll have to find out. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right in and see how it goes. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a banger right here. Ultimate difficulty. Um, they have ridiculous stats. Both of them are abominations, uh, look-wise, <laughs> but, uh, it should be fun. This is gonna be the first time we do this, where we put them up against each other. I do wanna make a random heavyweight as well, to go against Nathan Papadakis, I think that'd be really cool. <clears throat> Battle of the Randos. As you can see, <laughs> Lorenz Larson, he has a dolphin tattoo, or not dolphin, I always say dolphin, a whale tattoo over his eye. There's going to be some graphical glitches on the calves. I can't really do much about that. Um, it's just a matter of the emulator. Uh, they have to work on it more. It's no big deal. As you can see, his sweatshirt looks all bizarre and stuff like that. That's the only real difference. And his arm has like those uh, static marks on it. Everything else is pretty normal. Lorenz Larson, we did him on, uh, what was this, yesterday or the day before on stream? And, uh, <laughs> he's pretty jacked compared to, uh, what's his name? Ostrovsky. Sorry, these names are very hard to remember. <clears throat> that face isn't, though. How could you forget it? Do they touch gloves? Yep. Eagerly touches gloves. I'm very curious to see who comes out on top here. Larson does have a lot of the um, advantages when it comes to height. As you can see, height reach. He's sponsored by Lugs. No one knows how he got that sponsorship, but he just has it in his back pocket. He gets taken down immediately, and he's got to be careful that he doesn't get submitted right here. Ostrovsky has amazing submission offense, but Larson does have some really good submission defense, if I remember correctly. He also has really good submissions himself. And once again, there's side control. He's controlling him on top is Ostrovsky. Moves to north-south. North um, reverses him, gets into mount, and now he's posturing up. He's probably going to lay down some hammers on Larson right here if he's not careful. Larson gets a reversal, ends up on top himself. 
Larson's gonna have to get to side control if he wants to do some real damage. He gets up and tries to land a spinning back kick, but he misses. And he ate a shot. Oh my. God damn. All right. Larson sprawls on a takedown. You gotta remember, Ostrovsky does not have very good takedowns, but he gets him down the second time, which is kind of impressive. Ostrovsky goes for another double. Does he get it? Yes, he does. Larson's gonna definitely need to tighten up that takedown defense if he wants to win. I think Larson has some pretty bad takedown defense, if I remember. Maybe like a 40 or something. Goes for another takedown. I think Larson has more stand-up tendencies, and Ostrovsky definitely wants to get you to the ground, it seems. Larson keeps getting up whenever he can. Is he going to stand up? He lands a punch. <clears throat> yep, he gets up. He should really go for a knee instead of those kicks. I don't. It's very hard to land those kicks. They really have barely hurt each other. If I had to say who is winning, it's definitely Ostrovsky, just based off of he's landing more and he's got some takedowns. But when it comes to the um, the health, it's pretty damn even. It's very hard to hurt them. They have such good stats; it's almost impossible. He might get a submission though. You never know. Damn, Arstrovsky is so fast. If I remember correctly, I, I didn't look at the stats good enough, but I think Larson might be at a big disadvantage in speed. Alright. Goes for the double unders, but he gets reversed. Larson looks like he's going for... Oh, nope, nope. Sprawls on Ostrovsky. This is a pretty good fight. <laughs> they are really going at it, I gotta admit. Both of them are so well rounded, not very well rounded, but they're really good at like the core aspects of the game. Ostrovsky's definitely winning just based off of takedowns, I'd have to say. Okay. Larson. Reverses Ostrovsky, ends up in half guard. He's landing some clean shots with ground and pound, I must say. Can Larson land something big and drop Ostrovsky? I wonder. Uh, we got dropped as Ostrovsky, so I think he might be able to. I forget who. Uh, was it Volk that dropped us, I think? He's pretty damn fast. Oh, he keeps, he doesn't go for the soccer kick and he doesn't go for that knee. He's trying to go for like roundhouse kicks and spinning kicks. That's definitely not going to work in that situation. Getting single collar. He tried to get into Muay Thai clinch, but this is where Ostrovsky is unbelievably dangerous. If you've, uh, well, you've definitely seen in the title mode we just did. We finished Volk with knees. First in the clinch, and then uh, when he tried to take us down, we just absolutely timed him perfectly with a knee. Larson gets the reversal, ends up in full guard. Looks like he's trying to get up. Larson is. Ostrovsky gets up, interesting. He laid down for a second, almost inviting him back down, but I guess he second-guessed himself. Nice check from Larson a second ago. In the kickboxing realm, it definitely seems like Larson is cleaner as a striker, but I think Ostrovsky is just so fast that Larson can't really keep up with him. Nice axe kick from Ostrovsky. They have the same moveset as well. They both have the karate moveset. Alright. Nice right hook from Larson to end the round right there. This is a three-round fight. First round is ten minutes. The last two are five. That was a pretty even round. I don't know who took that. We might get a draw here, honestly. <laughs> but the way this fight's looking. I imagine Ostrovsky probably had more takedowns and more damage, though. Larson with a nice knee, though. That counts as a knockdown, I believe, so he might have won the round. Gets the axe kick as well. Damn. He may have stole the round right there. 
I know Ryzen's a little bit different and they judge the fight as a whole, but we'll see what happens. Or a pride was at least. I don't know how Ryzen scores. Alright, Ostrovsky gets him down with a sweep to the leg. Nice little Muay Thai sweep. Beautiful kicks from Larson out here. A four-piece combination, though, comes from Ostrovsky faster than I can even blink. Looks like there's going to be another reversal soon. Yep. Called it. Larson's going to have to do something a little bit different if he wants to start uh, landing some damage on Ostrovsky. Definitely getting up. I think some dropping him would definitely even out the score here and probably get him in ahead. He landed some great strikes, uh, strikes on Ostrovsky right there. Very good jab from Larson. Jab straight, leg kick, beautiful combination. Goes for the straight to the body, but he gets his punch caught. And he gets the takedown, nice, from Larson. He's starting to take over a little bit. And uh, I think Ostrovsky might be a little bit in trouble here. He can't let us. He can't let Larson start putting the hammers on him. There we go. Ostrovsky gets a reversal, but gets reversed himself as well. Larson on top now, been postured up full mount, landing some big shots. Gets reversed again. Another reversal. I think Lars is probably going to try to get up in a second. He's going to land one or two strikes and then go for the, uh... Nope. He gets reversed. There we go. He gets up and gets a spinning back kick to knock down La uh, Ostrovsky. Excuse me, Larson does. That was the biggest shot of the fight, I would say. That and the knee that Larson landed so far. So I think Larson's winning. <clears throat> Ostrovsky's gonna need to turn it up big time if he wants to win this fight. He's landing more, but just not the harder shots. I don't I don't believe. Okay. Beautiful striking battle from uh these two. Nice overhand from Larson. Ostrovsky is so fast though, he just landed three punches at the end of the round right there. I don't think that's enough to win that round. I still think that uh, Larson's winning. The knockdown. Um, that was a nice stomp though to like the thigh. That was kind of weird. Beautiful takedown from Larson right there. A left hook to a left overhand. That was nice. And he also threw a jab straight. I don't know if they landed or not. The jab looked like it did. Alright. Next round. I think Larson's probably going to come out pretty strong. Uh, keep doing what he did last round. He gets up right away from Ostrovsky's takedown. Nice head movement from Larson. Goes for a spinning back kick, completely misses him. Probably because he's so short, he just went right over him. Beautiful spinning back kick from Ostrovsky, returning the favor. Damn, Ostrovsky's starting to make a comeback here. He's really dishing it out. Landing five punch combinations at a time. Nice catch from Larson. Is he going to for, uh, go for another takedown? One of those little uh, judo... Judo trips. Looks like he might. Oh no, Ostrovsky gets the double leg. Ostrovsky's had very good success with his takedowns this fight. I must say so myself. Very evenly contested match, I would say. The stats are just too... They, they stack up too well. No one can really hurt each other or sub each other. Looks like there's going to be another reversal. Yep. 
Now, Larson's going to try to rain down some ground and pound. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to. Looks like this is going to go to a decision, folks. Not too much of a surprise, I guess. That was a hard shot. Nice ground and pound punch right there. Yeah, Larson's winning this fight, I'd have to say, if I had to guess. Ostrovsky's going to need to pull out a submission. I'm surprised they're not going for more submissions, especially since Ostrovsky... His AI is supposed to go for more, like, a lot of submissions. I think he got the clinch throw submission thing. Ooh. Strovsky's in a bad situation, but he reverses him and gets out of it. Gets into side control. Is he going to go for an arm triangle? Nope. Doesn't seem like he wants to go for the finish here. Gets reversed himself. Beautiful scrambles. Nice knee from Larson to really cap things off. Mm, if that dropped him, that was a sealed, uh, that was a, that was a sealed fate right there. All right, I think Larson won that fight, if I had to guess. Pretty damn good fight. Through and through. All right. Ostrovsky landing a nice body shot. They exchange, though. Larson also landed a few kicks. Very good, well-fought match from both people. A little bit disappointed there wasn't a finish, though. Can't expect too much when the uh, stats are looking like that, though. Yep, Larson won the fight. Ostrovsky just wasn't enough for Lorenzo Larson. And he claimed the victory. Ostrovsky may have uh, been able to beat the whole uh, UFC, but once he... Uh, why, why can't I speak? <laughs> I'm exhausted right now. He could not dethrone Lorenz Larson. Maybe we will at some point uh, match up against him and try to fight him ourselves. But until then, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.